I want to share something very interesting with you guys that I came across. This is a 1644 map of Africa. And here it says antique map of Africa with Israel connected as Northeast Africa, 1644. Map Blayu Willem Jensen. And these words were not a part of the original map, but the person that um, reposted this map, they typed these words. But nevertheless, what they said is true. Because around this area is where Jerusalem would be, and I'm going to prove that. And you can also see Arabia is close by. And I showed you guys how in past videos, when Jerusalem was besieged in 70 AD, the Romans made a covenant with um, the Palestinians, with the Arabian people, that if you kill the Jews, you form an alliance with us, we will work together to destroy them, and once they are taken out of the land, you can move in. That's why when you read Joel chapter 3, I believe it's 3 verse 4 through 6, what do I have to do with you, O Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? Because the children of Judah, the children of Jerusalem, did you sell unto the Grecians so that you could move them far from their land, far from their border. And that's exactly what they did. They helped to sell the children of Israel into slavery. I've read you guys the source of how after the children of Israel were taken out in the book from Babylon to Timbuktu, it said in the book that the slave markets were filled with black Jews. They just continually sold the children of Israel so that they could take over the land, so that they could have power and possession over the land of Israel. You can see how close Arabia is to Jerusalem, which is around this area right here. Shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people that was stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are, but you are the children of, of Yahweh the children of Israel and I'm telling you you have to come back to your homeland here to Zion to Jerusalem this is in much clearer resolution and when you look at the images here you can see these are clearly black people and you can see the Arabians at the top but for the most part the people in these images these are black people and I hope you guys can see clearer now but you see Arabia right here is very close to Jerusalem so when Jerusalem was destroyed, they moved right in there. There was even a prophecy in Lamentations chapter 4 that I talked about when I was covering the children of Esau, which you should check out because a lot of people said it opened their eyes to a lot of things about the Bible they didn't know. When we looked at that study, it talked about how they moved in. Obadiah said you shouldn't have moved in. And you have some Hebrew Israelites that believe that's referring to um, the Jewish people that live there now. But it's not talking about them. It's talking about the Arabians. Otherwise known as the children of Edom. According to prophecy. And I have videos on that. But you can see it's very close. It is very close. And you can also see that this area where Jerusalem would be. This area right here. Is connected to the continent of Africa. It's very interesting, y'all, when you look into this. This, I believe, is called a Mercator map. I'm not sure, but once I find the correct name, I will put it in the description. And this is a more modern map, something that's more common and commonly used. And what you guys can see is the Suez Canal, which is very important. And you can also see Sinai. This is where God gave Moses the commandments in the book of Exodus. Everything that you see in yellow, this is a part of Africa. Mount Sinai is in Africa. This is where Moses was, and this is the area that the children of Israel were as well, when you read the Bible, for a short period of time, because most of the Bible takes place in Africa. That's why you can read in the book of Exodus that on um, Moses, he was mistaken for an Egyptian, and according to this map, Egypt is in Africa. And we also looked at 14... And 15th century images of the children of Israel that Russia had. And one of the images showed Moses as a black man. Exodus chapter 4 mentions his skin turning white when God showed him a sign and a wonder. We read in Acts chapter 21 that the apostle Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. And he was a Jew. So black history is all throughout the Bible. A vast majority of the scriptures take place in Africa. And you can see Jerusalem is right here.
This is the area I was trying to highlight on the map. This area right here is what you see in the older map as well. But the only difference is the Suez Canal, which is very important because this was not in the original map that we just saw. And I'm going to read something about this Suez Canal for you guys. Coming from Britannica.com, but it says Suez Canal, sea level waterway running north-south across the Ish Ishtmus of Suez in Egypt to connect the Mediterranean and the Red Seas. The canal separates the African continent from Asia and it provides the shortest maritime route between, between Europe. And this, I believe, I'm not going to read all of this, but I believe it was built um, in the 1800s, I believe in 1869, which is why that old map does not show it. But you can see it was created to cause a separation. Here is the map again. This simply means that if you were to remove the Suez Canal that they built in this area, if you were to move this, this artificial river, Jerusalem would be in that spot. Jerusalem would be a part of the yellow Africa, just like the old map showed.